it's it is it is always a deeply emotional experience to meet with people who very recently had family members killed i felt the raw emotion among the mostly women and children because they have lost their homes for the moment they don't have enough to eat and they have loved ones who were killed so the the first purpose of talking to them was to express condolences and sympathy um, you know at this point it seems hard to see how life will be into the future for them just before meeting with this group we attended briefly a community leaders meeting where they are trying to resolve their differences and it seems they have agreed a way forward so we we hope very much for the sake of these vulnerable women and children mostly that the agreement that the community leader seems to be reaching will hold and that at some point calm will be restored to these communities and they can resume whatever normal life is possible after this kind of violence after experiencing this kind of violence the message basically is that the united nations stands with them in solidarity and that the united nations is ready to support peacemaking processes if it's appropriate and if we can play a meaningful role